this is gonna be monumental for the boy, if you can hear the noise out here. Where is everybody? Dan? Amir? Muscles glasses? They were just here a second ago. Harley. Who said that? I did. Harley? No, this is God. God? You speak weird. You speak weird. You speak weird. Where are my friends? They are suspended in time, as is the rest of the world. Yo, that's so crazy, man. And how am I suddenly sober? Like, just like five seconds ago, I was lit like a bitch. All these bitches on my dick, <laughs> you know? Lit like a bitch. <laughs> I love that song. Powers and shit, bro. Powers are hype, man. Look, this is weird for me to say, because I'm God and shit. <laughs> but I'm actually a big fan. Fast food is my guilty pleasure. Well, that and The Bachelor in Paradise. And juicing in my own belly button. So I was thinking, how about just one epic ass, epic meal fit for a god? The god. Me. Loaded to the teats with fast food. Well, if God wants a fast food epic meal, then best believe Hashem is going to get a fast food epic meal. One request though, can I have my friends back? Because I, I really can't do sh unless they're here. Oh yeah, here you go. This is going to be monumental, folks. <laughs> Internet, we are hungover as f**k and we need a grease bag of a meal to soak up all this alcohol. That's why we're on that Danny Zuko sh**. Talking greasier than Ray Liotta's face in Goodfellas. Happy New Year's, you filthy animals. We got a hundred chicken nuggets. A large pepperoni pizza. Twelve large fries. Ten onion rings. Eight baconators. Twenty-five McDoubles. Woo! Five salads. A lot of bacon. Four large popcorn chicken. Five Crunchwrap Supremes. The food that's so good that if you eat too much of it, you feel sick, but if you feel sick and you eat a lot of it, you feel good. The crown to our bun is gonna be stuffed with 100 chicken nuggets and over eight large french fries. These guys are not being accepted into the, <laughs> into the realm. Oh my God. Out of all my years in Epic Meal Time, I don't think I've made a bun this method before, so uh, we're in for a treat here, guys. Happy New Year! Then you go to the LCBO. Now every bun has a top and a bottom, and this is gonna be the heel, filled with onion rings and popcorn chicken. Oh, stop cutting my lips with that. Now this is crazy. This burger is gonna have 25 McDoubles and five Baconators in it. That's over 60 beef patties. That's over 60 beef patties. That's over 60 beef patties. Like we said, every single layer will be custom and impregnated with fast food. That includes this cheese slice. High pizza from Domino's. It will now become one. Yo, it's New Year's and I got a New Year's resolution. Actually, I got a couple of them. The first one is, I'm gonna try not wearing a hat so much. I got a stupid head of hair. I should just embrace that a little bit, you know? Stop hiding under baseball cap so much. You know what I mean? Yeah, my hair looks pretty dope. And on another note, internet, a whole new year is upon us and as we come, <laughs> <laughs> As we come into the future, we commemorate the past by taking something old and tired and <laughs> breathing new life into that bad boy. Because regardless of the changing of time, certain things remain timeless. Only what you do with those timeless things that can be altered. Today that timeless treat is fast food. Through thick and through thin, fast food has always been there for us. For burgers, for lasagnas, for quick consumption on the go. For inspiration to all of our recipes. It's also fake as but in its fakeness lies the fact that fast food is the real deal. So this meal is a manifestation of our New Year's resolution regarding fast food. Not to cut it out of our diet entirely in lieu of healthier eating. Fuck no. What? This meal is to pay homage and respect to the involvement fast food has had in all of our epic meals this past year. Ladies and gentlemen, Happy New Year's. You, cocksuckers. This is the fast food burger. Burger. 
a burger patty infused with fast food patties. Phenomenal. The grease revitalized the fast food burgers, bringing them back to life, giving them the juices they needed to become flavorful. This bread is like, a, it's like its own thing. Probably asking like, why did you just throw Crunchwrap Supremes in there? Why not? They're there for good measure. They're the tomato wedges of the ah. burger. Honestly, that, the bottom bun better. Yeah, you like that popcorn? Got very peppery flavor from the popcorn chicken. And then like the onion that baked into the bread. It's like a chicken Kaiser roll. We're all sleeping on French fried ketchup. Everybody's been sleeping. By using French fried ketchup, you totally don't even need to order a burger with French fries anymore. You're getting them in the burger. Oh.